Okay, again, uh, now in the southern elections in Rio, mm -hmm. the main achievements by Rajabaksa is wiping out LTT. This is the same for Saratwamsaka as well. After all, both candidates, they are focusing on the victory of the LTT. So how could every, anyone could expect that Tamils can support this? The Fonseca is focusing on re-establishing democracy. He has put down many points. He is coming on abolishing the executive presidency, appointing the constitutional uh, council, removing all those provisions of the emergency regulations which are unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Uh, putting out a white proposals on how to fight uh, corruption. He is coming out on uh, freedom of information law, abolishing the press council, media freedom, other measures to strengthen human rights, the resettlement, uh, the real resettlement of the IDPs with, according to the guiding principles of the UN, uh, dealing with the people, who, uh, Tamils who are under detention, and allowing all those who led left uh, the North and the East since 1983 to come back, return to be resettled. Now, the, these are the issues that he is coming forward with. And that's what we are asking people to uh, vote on. As far as uh, Fonseca is concerned, he was the commander of an uh, army and he did outmaneuver and out-strategize uh, Prabhakar. As an army commander, he can say, yes, I led my uh, army to uh, victory in the sense I defeated the LTT, but he is not talking about that, he is talking about all these uh, issues. Now Rajapaksa is coming on a campaign saying he defeated the LTT and he is the war hero, which he is not entitled to. A, a hero, a fighter is someone who is in the armed forces, maybe Fonseca, maybe some other general, anyone on that side, but uh, Rajapaksa is a political leader and his political leadership was having dealt with uh, the terrorism and the LTT, that he should have come up with a political solution immediately and restored democracy. So it's Rajapaksa who is going on this war hero cry and now all of a sudden he finds that there is actual war hero in the campaign who is talking about democracy. So that, that's a more issue for him to resolve than for us or the Tamils. Okay, now he, he's, 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 someone has run away with his uh, clothes. So you say Mr. Sarat Fonsaka is very confident in establishing democracy in the country. When he decided to retire from his service, he wrote a letter with so many points to Mahinda Rajapaksa. Okay. I noted one of that point that Mr. Rajapaksa lost confidence on army and he called for expansion of army on so many requirements again and Rajapaksa refused to do so. If Sarat Fonseca is very confident in demo, establishing democracy, what made him to expand the Sri Lankan army? He got any of the enemies over there? No, he wanted men to uh, fill the vacancies. About 5,000 soldiers had uh, been killed in the fighting, in, the last, in, the, in that last phase of the fighting. Uh, about a similar number had been injured. So he asked for money. As you know, in Sri Lanka, just because a soldier is killed, it's not a vacancy. Because the, that salary is being paid to the members of his family. So he said, if you want me to hold and uh, secure these areas, then I need these numbers and uh, kindly let me take them on. So he turned it down. President turned it down, not for security reasons, saying that Fonseca will use all this to have a coup d'etat against the government. That was the reason. We all, all knew that why it was turned down. Otherwise, he could have given part of it because the army also had problems and he asked for it. But if uh, Rajapaksa had financial problems, he should have explained it. He, but he, this was on the basis that Fonseca would do a uh, coup d'etat against Rajapaksa. That's why Fonseca was removed. In fact, Rajapaksa informed, uh, the, according to the newspapers you have seen, Rajapaksa had informed, these people had informed the uh, some of his Indian sources that uh, Fonseca was going to